Hello and welcome to this second video in our series of videos on matrices. So if you've watched our previous video, we introduced the topic of matrices and we looked at how we can add, subtract and multiply matrices. We talked about two types of multiplication, a scalar multiplication and matrix multiplication. In this video, we're going to talk about how to find something called the determinant of a matrix. The determinant of a matrix can be thought as of reducing the matrix down to just one number. We represent the determinant by using modulus bars. So let's say we call a matrix A. If we wanted to find the determinant of that matrix, we'd represent that as A enclosed in these two modulus bars, like shown. One last thing to mention is that only square matrices have a determinant. So we saw different dimensions of matrices in our previous video, but the only ones that will have a determinant are those that are square, so two by two matrices, three by three, four by four, and so on. Let's start by calculating the determinant of a simple two by two matrix. Let's suppose we have the matrix that we see here, where A is a matrix composed of elements A, B, C and D. These could be any numbers, but I've just given them these, these terms for now. The determinant, A enclosed by these modulus bars, can be calculated by following this rule here, AD minus BC. So what you can see is that we're multiplying the diagonal elements, A and D, and subtracting from that the diagonal elements B and C multiplied together. So let's see an example. Suppose we have this matrix, we'll call it M, and it's made by the elements 4, 2, 3, and 5. The determinant of M will be 4 times 5 minus 2 times 3. And that works out as 20 minus 6, which is 14. So hopefully you can see that finding the determinant of a matrix has a potential to take some complex systems of equations that we saw in previous video and simplify them a great deal. We'll see examples through this topic of where we can use the determinant to help to solve complex systems of equations. Let's look at a more complicated example now and try to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. Hopefully you saw that calculating the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix was quite easy. As matrices get larger, unfortunately it becomes a bit more difficult to calculate the determinant. So let's take this 3 by 3 matrix as an example. And again, uh, we've got some placeholder terms in here. We, we've labelled them A through to I. With a larger matrix like this, we're going to approach this in stages. And then we're going to bring these stages together to find the total determinant. The stages that we're going to take are for each letter on the top row. So here we have A, B and C and we're going to approach these one at a time. Let's start with A and what we're going to do with this method is ignore all the other values that are in the same column or the same row as A. So when we remove those values we're left with something that looks like this. Now what you can see is that we're left with a square 2 by 2 matrix again, this time with these elements E, F, H and I. Well we know how to find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, but we also then multiply this by A, and so what we get is something like this. Then what we're going to do is follow this process for parts B and C as well. And so if we write that out in full, we see something like this. So at this stage, there's a few points to note here. First of all, don't be alarmed. This example's starting to look a bit complicated, but we'll see that we can apply exactly the same methods as we saw in the previous example in just a second. Secondly, for the middle term here, notice that the D, F and G and I are separated, but really we're still going to class these as a square matrix, even though there's this gap 
running down the middle. Finally, it's important to note that these terms alternate between positive and negative in order for this method to work correctly. So notice that the first term is positive, the second term is negative, and the third term is positive again. So what we can do is tidy this up a little bit and write it as below. Two more things to mention here. Notice that the square matrices are enclosed in the modulus bars, because remember we're going to find the determinant of each of these. The dot symbol, again the dot product, is present here, but for our purposes we're going to class this as just multiplication. Let's put this into practice then with an actual example. So let's suppose we have this matrix, we'll call it C, and it's equal to this three by three array here. And what we're gonna do is find the determinant of this three by three matrix. So the determinant C, again, enclosed in these modulus bars, following exactly the same formulation that we saw in the previous, um, the previous section, will look something like this. We have seven multiplied by the two by two matrix of one, five, three, and nine minus 4 multiplied by the determinant of the square matrix 8, 5, 3, and 9. And then finally, 2 multiplied by the determinant of the square matrix 8, 1, 3, and 3. And so when we work that out, hopefully by this point we know how to work out the determinant of these 2 by 2 matrices, we can write it out as something like this, and we come to a final answer of minus 228. So I hope you found this video useful to, first of all, introduce the topic of determinants. We'll see determinants used more later on in this series of videos, but also how we can calculate the determinant, not just of 2x2 two two matrices, but of larger 3x3 three three matrices as well.